There is this feeling like there's a separation of some sort, a divvying up of resources and a concern on your part that you're not going to get what belongs to you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Communication in unity. There's a, a guidance for you to seek out the company of people who've had similar experience, particularly of your own gender, so that you can air your feelings and safety and cultivate the energy or the cultivate. How, how do I say this? Cultivate the energy that you need to cultivate equilibrium where your energy is concerned, because this is a situation that will require your stamina and you want to avoid burnout. Hey Capricorn, welcome to your May 2021 reading. Today we're going to do a SWOT analysis for your sign. We're going to take a look at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, particularly where a challenge is concerned. And so we'll take a look at the different characteristics of that challenge as well. <clears throat> I have been shuffling your cards off camera, so let's just sync up. Let's get started. So we're going to take a look at this challenge first. What are the characteristics of this challenge that Capricorn is facing in May? The point of this reading really is to, if you are struggling with something or temperance was uh, upright, moderation, balance, blending diverse energies, the point of this reading is if you are struggling with a challenge to help you uh, understand how to or at least have new ideas about how to navigate it more gracefully and to your best benefit. So what are the characteristics of this challenge? Whoa. Four of Pentacles. So holding on, feeling as if you need to protect your resources and guard your resources um, oftentimes this comes from a feeling of <clears throat> poverty, like poverty mentality, not having enough. Feeling as if you might not have enough in the future, you might not have enough now. Also feelings of scarcity. Of course, energetically, when you hold on to something or you're operating from that mode, you create more of that <laughs> as opposed to you know, creating more abundance, you actually create more scarcity mindset or poverty mindset. <clears throat> and this is coming from something from the past, a difficult experience in the past, a betrayal of the heart and change. It brought about a lot of change. You might be experiencing change at the moment. These are the characteristics of the challenge that you're facing. We see this heartbreak right in the middle of it. This emotional disappointment right in the middle of the this three card spread. It was like this. Hmm. The wheel of fortune turns often if it's upright in your favor. So whatever this heartbreak was, this emotional disappointment was, this grief, this loss really felt like a piercing of your heart, of your emotional space. It's bringing about this change or it brought about a change that was really meant to happen. It was in your best and highest good, although it might not have felt that way at the time. The response, it feels almost like the, the knee-jerk response is to hold on and protect what is yours. And this, these are the characteristics of your challenge. Let's look at your strengths. Strengths with regard to this challenge. These are um, good things to, to take note of or to be aware of because you can use them, obviously, to your, to your benefit. What are the strengths that Capricorn is experiencing with regard to this challenge? Well, you are a hard worker. You know how to put your head down and focus and dedicate your time, energy to your craft, to your work. And that is helping you. That is a strength. Commitment, that is Capricorn, right? Dedication, commitment, hard work, um, routine. So speaking to your native strengths right now, Capricorn, show me another strength. Whoa. <clears throat> show me another strength. I want to pull at least two more cards for your strengths. We have two the, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. 
two pentacles out on the table right now. And, um, oh, here's the queen of pentacles. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is beautiful. Look at how this guy is just working away. Dedication of time and energy to his craft. And then we have the queen of pentacles. She is admiring the work that she put in. Her focus on the pentacle is creating more of this abundance around her. And also, not just for her to experience, but for her community to experience, for her family to experience. This is um, a woman who shares her wealth. These are your strengths. I love this because we're going from this sort of scarcity mindset, poverty mindset, holding on, hoarding, conservation mode to this like, okay, I'm going to put in the time and the energy and the work. And I know that by doing that, I will create abundance around me. And by focusing on the abundance, I create, therefore, even more abundance around me. So these are your strengths, Capricorn. Show me any weaknesses that Capricorn might want to be aware of. I do see this Four of Pentacles in the challenge as something akin to weakness, something that you might want to dive a little bit deeper into and sort out. Show me weaknesses. Oh, Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Three cards fell out for weaknesses. The first one I saw was the Knight of Wands. Impulsivity, that's never been a problem of your sign, but it might be in this particular um, uh, drawing, this particular spread, this particular where this particular challenge is concerned. It could also be that there's a personality around you that's very impulsive, very passionate, very hard to contain. Um, causing a lot of movement, um, a particular type of movement that is really about summoning your willpower, summoning the sheer strength of your personality to move forward. This could be, these two could be related. They do feel that way to me. Very similar type of movement, like the, e like the ego, moving forward by force of the ego. Impulsivity, passionate, hard to contain very energetic, highly energetic. This is a partnership that we might be talking about here, a relationship, a partnership. And this is coming out in the weakness. These could be the weaknesses of this partnership or relationship that brought you this heartache. It's going to be different for everyone. So I'm kind of just throwing out interpretations there. Okay. Opportunities. Let's take a look at opportunities for you. Put this here. Opportunities where this particular challenge is concerned. And again, the challenge is coming out as some sort of emotional disappointment. Change. I do see movement and change here. We have the chariot, we have the knight of wands, and we have the wheel of fortune. And, you know, this reaction, which is to hold on, to protect your resources, to sort of hoard what you have, that is very Capricornian. Um, I often see Capricorns as like bankers, um, very conservative, uh, reserve, have a tendency to reserve or very reserved. <clears throat> what are the opportunities here where this challenge is concerned? The very qualities that I just described also make it possible for you to build wealth. This dedication of your time, energy, and resources. Um, this focus on the pentacle, focus on your coin, focus on abundance, creates more wealth and abundance around you and enough to share. The queen of pentacles is very generous. She's very connected to her community and very willing to give to her family, give to her community. Okay, opportunities, please. These cards are being quiet. Opportunities for Capricorn. Here we go. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Tower in reverse. We have the World in reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Huh. And these are opportunities. <clears throat> Again, we have another card, a very swift movement. This is all happening really quick. Change is coming in really quick. I feel like your reaction to it is to like shut down to a certain extent, to hold on to a certain extent. Look, 
We have Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Wheel of Fortune. Coming in quick, coming in hot with the Knight of Wands. Change, impulsivity, difficulty to contain this energy. Um, very egoic. This can also be fast communication. It might have just come in really quick, this new idea. You feel like you have averted a disaster to a certain extent. An opportunity for you to evolve here, personally and spiritually. Huh. This could have been a divorce of some sort, a separation that had you separating resources, dividing resources. You could have lost out on um, what you feel is yours, what is owed to you, potentially a, I hear the word legacy, potentially a inheritance of some sort. Okay, those are opportunities. Let's look at threats where this is concerned. I'm gonna work with the dark mirror. What is something, a threat coming in from the outside that Capricorn could be or should be aware of? Yeah, I mean, if this is a separation of some sort from a partnership um, and there is a division of resources like house, money, furniture, um, calling the storm threats. I've never seen this card before, but look, this is a threat, calling the storm. Be careful what you instigate at this time. It could turn out to be more of a storm than you anticipated. Watch your moves. Watch, watch. Be clear about your intentions and be clear about the, your behavior around those intentions, your actions around those intentions in order to avoid instigating more of a storm with regard to this challenge and the situation that you would like to experience. You know, sometimes um, I'm thinking of the strength card where <clears throat> it really indicates to me, you know, she's taming the lion. The lion really symbolizes to me those untamed aspects of ourselves that we're not always totally conscious of. And sometimes those untamed aspects, those subconscious uh, shadow aspects of ourselves will rise to the surface and then start to drive the bust, bust, the bus. <clears throat> and then we start acting out, you know, things come out sideways and then we put a ball in motion that has this effect that we did not intend. That is what this calling a storm card is really indicating to me. This is in the position of the threat. So be careful um, what you're calling in at this time. Be very clear where that's concerned. Let's pull a card of guidance for you, Capricorn. Card of guidance for Capricorn. Here we go. Elk. Hmm. Three. Let's read about elk. I think this is about like friendship. Relying on your friends, being in the company of your friends. No, it's about stamina. Interesting. So this is just suggesting that this situation is going to take your stamina. You've got it though. You have the stamina. That's your strength. These are in your strengths. Okay, elk have a curious kind of warrior energy because except at mating time, they honor the company of their own gender. So it is kind of about friendship as well. They can call on the medicine of brotherhood or sisterhood in discovering the strength which is gained from loving the gender that is your own. You will feel comrad comradeship, the comradeship that arises from similarity of experience. This is a special medicine that allows the friendship of others of your same sex to overcome potential competition or jealousy. 
If you've picked elk medicine, you may be telling yourself to seek the company of your own gender for a while. You may need a support group to realign yourself with the stamina of the warrior, warrioress energy that you are a part of. This communication with others of your own sex allows you to air your feelings and safety and to get feedback from others who've had the same experiences. You may need a new sense of community, communication in unity. Elk could also be telling you to look at how you're holding up physically to the stresses in your life and to pace yourself so that you maintain an equilibrium of energy over the distance you plan to cover. Okay, communication and unity, seeking out the company of others who have shared a similar experience in order to gain strength. This is a communication, fast communication. That's why I pull that card up. Um, also pacing yourself. This does seem to be a situation where you're really going to need to not guard your energy, not guard your resources, but wisely use your energy. Maintain an equilibrium so that you can get to the finish line, essentially, and not completely burn yourself out. Let's recap here. The challenge has something to do with some sort of emotional disappointment, heartache, loss, grief, um, betrayal of the heart that brought in change or is bringing in change and a reaction to hold on to hoard resources coming from a feeling like there isn't enough or you won't get what you're owed. You won't get what you deserve. What is yours? You have to hold on to what is yours. This is sort of the reaction. This is the challenge. Your strengths are that you really do know how to put your head down and dedicate your time and energy to what is before you. And it results in a great deal of abundance, enough to share with your community. A focus on abundance creates more abundance. This scarcity mentality or poverty mentality creates more poverty mentality. What you appreciate, appreciates. Those are your strengths. <clears throat> the weaknesses here. This could have come about, I mean, we see so many cards here of change and movement, particularly swift, impulsive, rash movement. This could be speaking to a relationship of some sort. There's movement, maybe you moved in together. There's movement around this relationship. I don't know if it's just somebody made an impulsive move from ego, happened quickly and swiftly, brought about a great deal of change. Be careful how you align your intentions with your actions. Be careful to be very clear about what your, what your intentions are at this moment with regard to this challenge. There is the potential to call in a greater storm than you intended. So be very clear about your intentions. Be very conscious and thoughtful about your actions. To mitigate the storm. You have an opportunity to, an, to avert an, a disaster here. There is this feeling like there's a separation of some sort, a divvying up of resources and a concern on your part that you're not going to get what belongs to you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Communication in unity. There's a, a guidance for you to seek out the company of people who've had similar experience, particularly of your own gender, so that you can air your feelings and safety and cultivate the energy or the cultivate. How, how do I say this? Cultivate the energy that you need to cultivate equilibrium where your energy is concerned, because this is a situation that will require your stamina and you want to avoid burnout. All right, Capricorn. If this reading resonated with you, hit the like button. Also leave a comment below. I'd love to hear how, um, how this is playing out for you. Also, if you're interested in diving deeper, there is a link below in the description box for personal readings. I'm doing those now. Wishing you the best in May. Take good care.